like to, you know, reinvest this billion dollars into the UC system, and I'd like to bring those fee increases back down, Michael. I think it is not good what we have done to increase fees. I think last year it was 32 percent. I think that's the wrong thing. You know, I mean, the hallmark of the UC system has been accessibility for lower- and middle-income kids to be able to go. So my view is we actually have to bring those fees back down if we possibly can. Where's the money coming from? How do you do all this without raising taxes? You've got a $20 billion budget cap right now. You don't want to cut taxes. So I have actually said, listen, we're going to find $15 billion worth of savings. And the four buckets of that, Michael, are first and foremost government employees. Second is pension reform. Third is welfare reform. And fourth is using technology to do more with less and using technology to fight fraud. I'll tell you the very best example of this is, you know, I'm from here in Silicon Valley. This place is 130 miles south of Sacramento. It feels like it's a million miles from Sacramento. The amount of technology that we deploy, the way we do it, is shocking to someone who comes from a technology background. But isn't that because in Silicon Valley you make a lot more? Because I've talked to people in the SFPD, and you cannot hire for a government job with the low pay, the low pay that you're talking about, cutting pay, cutting pensions. You cannot hire somebody. Yeah, we'll come back to that in just a second. You know, for what you get here. So it's kind of a misnomer because there's a lot more money coursing through Silicon Valley. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. So, for example, the administration of Medicare and Medi-Cal between $4.8 and $5.2 billion worth of fraud. And actually, if we had fully automated systems, we would be able to find that fraud, and we'd get, let's say we could find $5 billion, we'd get $2.5 billion. The federal government would get $2.5 billion. So we wouldn't get the whole amount, but I would be delighted, frankly, with $2.5 billion. IHSS. IHSS is not a fully automated program. In fact, the DAs, the group of DAs led by Jan Scully, you know her in Sacramento, she estimates that 20% of IHSS is fraud. Every one of your predecessors, though, 